Hello do-it-yourselfers, I'm Terry Peterman, the internet electrician. Welcome to another one of my video shorts on current topics. Let's get started. So in my next in the series of smart home videos, I am going to install this Wemo Wi-Fi light switch. I'm going to put it right here in the front entry so that when we're away, this is also where I have the Nest X Yale door lock and I have the Ring Hello doorbell outside. So we're quite covered here, but this is a perfect location, I think, for this Wemo Wi-Fi smart switch because then I can uh, program it to have this light come on at random times while we're away and it's in a perfect spot where you'll be able to see it from the street and it'll look like the home is fully occupied and then add that to the security of having the Nest X Yale door lock and the ring doorbell, I think we're pretty well covered at the front of the house. So we're gonna put it here. It's a good single pole location to install it. Let's get started. All right, so we'll start with unboxing the, the Wemo Wi-Fi light switch and see what's all inside the box. I chose to go, there's many options to, that are now integratable with Google Home, that's important to me because I want to use Google Home as the main platform to put it all together. However, uh, I don't like having every device you buy having to download an app for. So important to me was getting something that would work with the Nest app. Being I already have several Nest, Nest units in the home, I thought that it's important to be able to use the Nest app. So we're going to test that theory out because I know they do have an app for the Wemo, but this one does say that it's compatible with Nest as well as Google Home. So hopefully we can get away with only the Nest app. But we'll find out once we start setting it up. So of course inside the box is the literature. The get started guide. Looks like it lays out about five or six easy steps to get going. Here's the switch device itself. Now it's got a plate on it, a screwless plate, snap on, but I'm sure it can be used with regular devices as well. And here's the back of it. So we'll have to pop that plate off and a package of wire nuts. And that's about it for the contents of the box. So here's a shot of the light fixture I'll be controlling. It's right in the main foyer of my entrance area to the home. And first we need to go shut off the breaker so we can open up this switch box and get started with our installation. And coming back, I see that my panel was labeled correctly, front entryway lights and receptacles and shut off that breaker and sure enough, the light is out. So we're good to go. So first we need to remove the plate screws. One switch here is for my outside lights, the other one is for the front entryway. And now we remove the device that we're going to work on for the inside foyer. Remove the device screws. Okay, it looks like another quite a bit of overspray on the wires during construction of the home. But uh, these white looking wires are actually black once you scrape off the paint. So we've got a hot and the wire out to the light and a ground wire. So let's remove those and get ready to install the switch. So one very important consideration with the Wemo Wi-Fi light switch is that it needs a neutral conductor. So I've had to open up the box completely here. I pulled the other device out. That's the switch for the outside light. And of course the one we removed already for the inside light. I dug out my neutral splice at the back of the box. So these are these white wires here that are actually white and supposed to be white, not just because of paint. And also my ground splice here because the Wemo switch comes with pigtails already installed. So you don't want any more splices in the box than you have to have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip the wires off of the light switch, 
Restrip them to terminate to these two black wires. One is labeled the power, the other one's labeled the load to the light. And then we need to get this neutral splice in too, so we'll just be tying that in with that neutral splice. And the ground wire as well is already a pigtail, so I'm just going to tie it right in with this splice. And then we'll eliminate the pigtail wire that is in that splice right now coming to the switch itself. We're just going to remove that one, tie the ground right into the ground, the neutral right into the neutral splice, and then make two new splices for these hot wires, one hot and one load, that were previously on terminals of the old light switch. So let's prepare that for splicing. Okay, I've got the wires all prepared to make my splices. This is the hot wire. Like I said, it should be black, but it's painted white. And this is a load wire. Now, how I can tell that, if maybe you had a multi-gang box here and you couldn't really see where this, these wires actually came from, you can tell here, because I've opened it right up, there's a multi, multiple splice here with pigtails, two pigtails coming out. So that's continuous power coming in and out of this junction. But we've got two pigtails coming from the hot splice, one going to each switch. So you know that that's the hot wire. And then the wire all by itself heading out on a two wire cable is the load to the light itself. So neutral I've got exposed here, ground I've got exposed. I just got rid of the little pigtail jumper that was coming out of that ground splice and, and tying onto the switch. Now, we're, another way if you, if you didn't know for sure which was your hot wire, of course, would be to turn the power back onto the circuit and check these two with your meter. One would still be dead even with the breaker on, that'd be the load to the light switch, load wire to it, and the other one would read 120 volts or thereabouts when measured in reference to neutral or to ground. But I know exactly which one is the power here, so no need to go turn on that breaker. So I'm ready to tie this ground wire now into the ground splice. You want to just make sure that the wire is even with the ends of the other wires. And then start spinning on that wire nut. You want to make sure that the nut grabs that stranded wire to the switch as well as all I think there's four of them here. And you got the ground in, you pull on it to make sure it's firmly in that splice and you can't pull it out. And it is. Then your neutral wire, same thing. Tie that into the existing splice. See I've lined up the ends all even. Put the cap on, start spinning with a little bit of pressure just to make sure the stranded wire gets into the splice with the rest of them. Tighten that nut down and again, pull hard on that white wire. It's in there solid. Now the middle one here says it's hot, so we put that one in. Again, put the ends even. Spin that wire nut on. And finally the load light, load terminal or the load wire from the switch to the load to the light fixture. All right, splices are all made. Let's push this mess all back into the box and reinstall the devices. Then we can move to the setup procedure. So I've tucked all those splices back into the box, making sure that I've left myself lots of room for the body of this switch, much larger than the single pole switch I removed. So you want to make sure you've got lots of space in here for the body of that switch to comfortably fit without pinching any wires. And I've got room for the old the uh, single pole switch that we haven't changed for the outside light. So I'll remount these devices. Okay, so that brought us all the way to step six. We've wired the switch, reinstalled it, turned the power back on. 
That was step seven. So here we are. Let's get ready to set this up. And of course, we'll reinstall our wall plate before we set up this switch. All right, so we're back and with another app that I was trying to avoid doing, but I guess you can't. So again, go to your settings, it says, look for the Wemo light switch in the list of devices or available connections. And I'm connecting to it and I'm connected to the light switch itself. So I'm off Wi-Fi, I'm off the internet, but I am connected directly to the light. Now it says launch your Wemo app. They would like to access my home data. Okay. Got to give it a name, so we're going to call it Front Entry. Okay, that's done. Going to call it Arizona Front Entryway. If I spell it right, it would help. And next. Email address. Okay, email address is entered. Next, select my Wi-Fi network. Okay, I'm joining my network now. I assume this is where we can turn the light off and on. Yes, turn it off, turned it on. So I guess I can just work through the app now and set some schedules for it to run, home and away rules and such. Uh, new firmware is available, so we're going to have to go through and set that up. But for now, looks like we have another successful installation in my smart home series. This was, of course, the Wemo Wi-Fi light switch. So once you've got the Wemo light switch all connected to your Wemo app and you link it to your Google Home, you can do things like this. Hey Google, turn on Arizona front entry light. You got it. Turning on the Arizona entry light. Okay, Google. Turn off the Arizona front entry light. You got it. Turning the Arizona entry light off. Thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something useful from this video. My goal is to help you out with your small home electrical projects or minor repairs and to help you complete them both safely and competently. Please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel here. And for more helpful information, visit my website at electrical-online.com. And if you'd like to learn more about home electrical, my program, The Basics of Household Wiring, is simply the best electrical educational information you will find. And it's available as a DVD or an instant download. I also use this information as the core material for my best-selling course at udemy.com called Learn the basics of household wiring, the electrical system A to Z. And of course, you can find me on Facebook and Twitter. But what if you need help with something right away? I'm one of the experts on the Magnify app. That's Magnify with an I. You download the app and search for the internet electrician from your smartphone. You can get instant assistance. And I'm also a certified expert on the JustAnswer.com team. There are links below in the description here to everything that I've told you about. So until next time, thanks for watching. I'm Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician.